Farmers and biofuel advocates are still pushing the Trump administration and the EPA to reinstate billions of gallons of ethanol into the nation's fuel supply as required by the Renewable Fuel Standard. The EPA has granted small refinery waivers to dozens of refineries, releasing them from their obligation to blend renewable fuels like ethanol. Biofuel advocates say those waivers bail out large refineries, go against the purpose of the RFS, and drastically cut ethanol demand. Randy Doyle is CEO of the Alcorn Clean Fuel in Claremont. He says the move has had a negative impact on the ethanol industry and farmers. What's happened is that we've had a rollback of demand, uh, enough that we've seen the market uh, look very oversupplied. And what happens when you have oversupply? You've got prices that fall, and we've been living with that for a long time now, unfortunately, uh, you know, just as our farmers have with low-priced corn. The recent expansion of RFS waivers has reduced ethanol requirements by more than 4 billion gallons over three years. In the past marketing year, corn used for ethanol production has fallen by 229 million bushels. In October, farm leaders thought they had a resolution to the issue when President Trump announced the administration would reinstate the 15 billion gallons of ethanol called for in the renewable fuel standard. However, the EPA has proposed using a three-year average of how much the Department of Energy recommended in waivers rather than a three-year average of what EPA actually waived. EPA's position and direction has been fairly clear. Uh, I think it would take the White House saying, stop, don't do that for a change to be made. And I'm waiting to hear that voice, but I haven't heard it yet. A comment period on the EPA proposal ends November 29th. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.